square one, it's step seven. Step seven is I need to teach you how to write a script, but I don't want you to write any old traditional script. I want to keep this so simple, but so clear. And I think I've already mentioned at some point outlining, so you probably know what to expect. We've got a whole list of topics, ideas, things that you're already an expert in. And what I want you to do, and you know me, if you know me at all personally, you definitely know that I'm usually not without a coffee. So I recommend you go get a coffee and a piece of paper, and you're going to write down the first topic idea at the top of the paper. And I want you to write a couple of bullet points that are the couple of points that are required to explain what that topic is about and what it means to your audience. That's your whole script. Do that for each heading. Once you have that, you've got this pretty robust topic list, and if you were to write a script, and, and, and I mean a script script, every single word that you're going to say, it would really require that you have a teleprompter because you're not gonna memorize it. And if you teleprompt it now, you need a new skill set, which is the ability to read off of a teleprompter. I've been an actor since 1984, and every time I'm in front of a teleprompter, it takes me a good half hour to get used to it. I can do it, but I'm not a news broadcaster. It's a skill set that I have, but it's not really well refined. I've been doing it a long time, and I'm not good at it. I don't recommend you go and get a teleprompter unless it is absolutely required for whatever is happening in your world. There's a place for that tool. I don't think it's in your world. What you already have inside you is expertise. You just need the prompts to be able to know what you're about to talk about. The title and the couple of bullet points are your script. I am a big fan of the KISS principle. If you don't know what the KISS principle is, I'll use the one I was not allowed to say as a child. Keep it simple, stupid. You're not stupid, and that's why we were never allowed to say the last S in those keep it simple, silly. Is that the version you heard as a kid? Yeah, I think that was the version I was allowed to say still. You're not stupid and you're actually not silly. You do need to keep it simple. It's important to make this easy so that it's actually repeatable if it's easy, right? Go write a script, make it bullet pointed, you're well on your way. I'm Josh Pies, I'm the Chief Attention Getter here at C47 Films. If any of this is inspiring you to ask questions, please send us a message, tag us online, let's start a conversation, go to our website, use the, the chat to go find us, whatever it takes to get our attention. We believe in attention, come and get ours, let's talk.